much easier for people to prey on your emotions. We're talking about romance scams. Not only may someone you know fall for one, but your personal information can be stolen to fool others. Yeah, tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sparatia digs deeper into the problem and gets answers about how you can protect yourself from these heartless criminals. You think you're the one and only. But criminals are taking your image to defraud others in romance scams. And they create dozens of fake profiles, all saying it's you looking for love. Since the start of the pandemic, law enforcement says, over $300 million have been lost to romance scammers. But only about 20% of the victims report the crime, so losses could be closer to $500 million or more. Recently, a viewer wrote, asking me to shed light on these scams, saying her mother-in-law is constantly falling for these online frauds. Within a few days, she says, the men tell her how much they love her. But that love has a price. They want her to start a bank account, send gift cards, or put money in certain cards to keep talking. She says they've talked to the mother-in-law several times about this, but she just keeps doing it over and over again. And these guys, I've seen what they write up. They just flower them with attention and then they go after money. Tom Ernsting is the victim of romance scammers. Four years ago, criminals started lifting his modeling photos to create fake profiles to attract those looking for love. The fake Toms that are online have become a nightmare for him. It's a constant barrage of people telling me I'm being scammed, of people yelling at me for scamming them. Um, of hearing people's stories about how their money was taken. Ernsting says he's had to have dozens of fake accounts deleted on social media platforms, and it troubles him that his likeness is being used to cheat so many vulnerable people. What is the emotional toll that it's taking on you? It's uh, a weight on me that I can't help them more. The pandemic caused romance scams to explode as people spent more time online, in isolation, looking for companionship. People that lose money, on average, lose over $16,000. Only about 17 to 20% of people actually report money being lost because they're embarrassed. David McClellan is with Social Catfish, the people search website focusing on online safety. These scammers are relentless and they know that there's extra stimulus money out there. They know that there's extra unemployment money out there. They'll try all kinds of ploys to worm their way into your heart. For example, sending you a chintzy gift like this, all the while making false promises of love so they can drain your wallet. They'll reach out to as many people as possible. How can you detect these scammers? Well, first of all, don't trust the photos. I've seen my face Photoshop into other people's passport, passports and, and driver's licenses. They're really good. Since we know that Tom's photos have been stolen, let's do a reverse image check on this one right here. Look at this. It comes back with scores of hits. Yeah, that's Tom's face, but who knows who is behind the posts. They're making more money off of my image than I make in a year. Other ways to protect yourself? Demand a video chat to see who is behind the posts. Don't send money, no matter what sob story you're told. And take it slow and avoid snap decisions or commitments. You also need to report social media platforms when these scams happen so authorities can hold them accountable for their actions.